If you knew Susie like I know Susie, oh, no, not Susie again. But it's my dream song, my on the beam song. Don't forget, I love to spend the still your theme song. When I sing Susie, it's such an event. You first sang Susie when Lincoln was the president. I'll still do Susie, cause I need Susie. Oh, oh, what a gal. If you sing Susie when I sing Susie, oh, hey. Let's try it that way. There's none that's greater. She's our first raider. Thanks to Susie. I'm no singing waiter. Do me a favor. Play off of that gal. If it weren't for Susie, where do you think you'd be, pal? And I'll sing Susie. Let's both sing Susie. Oh, oh, what a gal. Gee, they're funny. The size of your eyes. It made us money. Honey boy, let's harmonize if you Music, maestro, please. Ma, he's making eyes at me. Ma, he's awful nice to me. Ma, he's almost breaking my heart. I'm beside him. Mercy, let his conscience guide him. Ma, he wants to marry me. Be my honey bee. He makes me weak. He makes me nervous. I have never had such service. Ma, he's kissing me. Ma. Awful nice to me. Ma, he's almost breaking my heart. If you peek in, you will see I'm gonna weaken. Ma, he wants to marry me. Be my honey bee. He wants the neck, he wants to wrestle. What's his name? It's Georgie Jessel. Ma, he's kissing me. Does your mother know you're out, Cecilia? Does she know that I'm about to steal ya? Oh my, when I look in your eye, something tells me you and I should get together. How about a little kiss? Cecilia, just a kiss you'd never miss, Cecilia, why do we two keep on wasting time, oh Cecilia, say that you'll be mine. Is there anyone finer in the state of Carolina? If there isn't, you know her. Huh? Come on and show her to me, our diner. With your Dixie eyes blazing, how I love to sit and gaze in to the eyes of Dinah Lee. Oh, my, oh, every night, why do I shake with fright? Because my title mine change her mind about me no 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 diner if she wanted to china i would hop an ocean liner just to be with miss pretty little diner Lee. margie i'm always thinking of you margie i'll tell the world i love you don't forget your promise to me I have bought a home and ring and every little thing for Margie. You've been my inspiration, days are never blue. And after all is said and done, there is really only one. Oh, Margie, Margie, you're the combination of every girl I've ever loved. Oh, Margie, 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 it's you. in Georgia about to go insane since that new dance down in Georgia came I'm the only person who's to blame I'm the party introduced it there 
So give me credit For knowing a thing or two Give me credit For springing something new I will show this little dance to you And when I do you'll say that it's a bear First you put your two knees close up tight Swing them to the left and then you swing them to the right Up around the floor kind of nice and light Twist around, twist around with all of your might Put your loving arms out in space Do the eagle rock with style and grace Put your foot way around and bring it back And that's what I call ball in the jack Send me You twist around and twist around with all of your might. Not bad for a grandfather, huh? Put your way around and bring it back. And that's what I call Ball in the Sky. I don't know why I love you like I do I don't know why, but I do Animal magnetism, that's what they call it <laughs> I don't know why you thrill me like you do I don't know why, but you do I wonder if I'd appreciate what she's had all these years <laughs> To want my romancing The only time you hold me Is when we're dancing I've got to hold on If I let go, I'll fall down I don't know why I love you like I do I don't know why But I do I don't know why I love you like I do I don't know why But I do I don't know why You thrill me like you do I don't know why But you do Let's try it again And this time I'll be the caboose <laughs> You never seem to want my romancing the only time you hold me is when we're dancing. Honey, I can't take it. When you get near me, I want to grab you and hold you and hug you and squeeze you and grab you and hug you and kiss you. Do you really want to do all that? No, but at my age, it doesn't hurt to give your arteries a pep talk. <laughs> I don't know why I love you like I do. I don't know why, but I do. By the light, by the light, by the light of, of the silvery moon, I want a spoon to my honey I'll croon love's tune. Honey moon, honey moon, honey moon, keep a shining in June. Your silvery beams will bring love's dreams, we'll be cuddling soon. By the silvery moon. Norman, I know a woman who sleeps with cats. A woman who sleeps with cats? Who? Mrs. Katz. <laughs> Edith, why is the rabbit's nose so shiny? I don't know, Norman. Why is the rabbit's nose so shiny? Because there's powder puffs on the other end. <laughs> 
by the silvery pool. Josephine and Joe were so in love, oh, so in love, so much in love. In the hall for hours they would stay. When Josephine came in, she'd hear her mother say, Josephina, please no lean on the bell. When you mush, please no push the bell. I heard Mrs. Caruso telling Mrs. Flynn, somebody keeps ringing, but nobody comes in. You can squeeze all you please, that's all right. But don't keep us from sleep every night. When you make love in the hall, stay away from the wall. Josephina, please don't lean on the bell. Oh, you come up from work and you wanted the sup. I'm a cook of the dice and macaron. Then you make it sit down, then you make it get up. For your fella, he call on the phone. Oh, you go to the park and you sit in the dark and you make what I call it a pet. It's a lipstick here, it's a lipstick there. You don't get it from meat and spaghetti. Oh, you say good night about 11 o'clock. It's what a good gal should do. But you take it too long when you say the good night. You don't finish till half past two. Say, why you don't bring your fella upstairs? Ravioli with peppers I cook. You can make it love with a kiss and a hug and a mom and a pop. Then a look, don't I bring you up and I make you fat with a soup and a pasta for Zool. But you stay up too late and they make you thin. What's the matter? You're making me fool? Why, you know, get married and raise the fan. Then they make you the promise I keep. I'll buy you the furniture and pay for the rent. And we all can get us some sleep. Josephina, please no lean on the bell. When you mush, please no push the bell. You could have so much fun with that son of a gun. But Josephina, please no lean on the bell. I'm Alabama bound. There'll be no heebie jeebies hanging around. Just gave the meanest ticket man on earth all I'm worth. To put my tootsies in an upper berth, just hear the choo choo sound. I know that soon we're gonna cover ground. And then I'll holler so the world will know. Here I go. I'm Alabama bound. I'm Alabama bound. There'll be no heebie-jeebies hanging round. Just gave the meanest ticket man on earth all I'm worth. To put my tootsies in the upper berth, just hear the choo-choo sound. I know that soon we're gonna cover ground. And then I'll holler so the world will know. Here I go. I'm Alabama bound. She's sweet, see you coming down the street and ask you very confidentially, ain't she sweet? Ain't she nice? Look her over once or twice and ask you very confidentially, ain't she nice? Just cast an eye in her direction. Oh, me, oh, me, oh, me, oh, my, ain't that perfection? Some confection, I repeat. Don't you think she's kind of neat? And ask you very confidentially, ain't she sweet? Is it true what they say about Dixie? Does the sun really shine all the time? Do the sweet magnolia blossom round everybody's door? Do the folk keep eating possum till they can't eat no more? And is it true what they say about Swanee? Here's a dream by that stream so divine. Do they laugh? Do they love? Like they say in every song. If it's true, that's where I belong. After you've gone and left me crying, after you've gone, there's no denying. You'll feel blue. You'll feel sad. you lose the bestest pair you've ever had. There'll come a time. Now don't forget it. There'll come a time when you'll regret it. Someday when you grow lonely, your heart will break in two. You'll want me only after you've gone. After you've gone away. After you've gone, let me cry. After you've gone, no denying. Best as pal you've ever 
Takes me, makes me, tell me, what shall I say? And when we dance, I read in your glance Whole pages and ages of love and romance They say that Romeo was some lover too But boy, he should have taken lessons from you You seem to start where the others get through Oh, Charlie, my boy So well, every Susan and Sal, they're congregating for me and my gal. 
the parson's waiting for me and my gal. And someday we're gonna build a little home for two, for three or four or more in love land for me and my gal. And someday we're gonna build a little home for two, for three or four or more in love land for me and my gang. <laughs> When the red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing along, along, there'll be no more sobbing when he starts to robin his old sweet song. Wake up, wake up, you sleepy head. Get up, get up, get out of bed. Cheer up, cheer up, the sun is red. Live, love, laugh and be happy. What if I've been blue? Now I'm walking through fields of flowers. Rain may glisten, but still I listen for hours and hours. I'm just a kid again, doing what I did again, singing a song. When the red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing along. Wake up, wake up, you sleepy head. Get up, get up, get out of bed. Cheer up, cheer up, the sun is red. Live, love, laugh and be happy. What if I've been blue, now I'm walking through fields. A flower. Rain may glisten, but still I listen for hours and hours. I'm just a kid again, doing what I did again, singing a song. When the red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing along. <laughs> Wonderful, it's marvelous. You should care for me. It's awful nice, it's paradise, it's what I love to see. You've made my life so glamorous, can't blame me for feeling amorous. Oh, it's wonderful, it's marvelous that you should care for me. It's four-leaf clover time. From now on, my heart's working overtime. Oh, it's wonderful, it's marvelous that you should care for me. Five foot two, eyes are blue, but oh, what those five foot could do. Has anybody seen my girl? <laughs> turn up nose, turn down hose. She's got these and them and those. Has anybody seen my girl? Now, if you run into a five foot two covered with fur, diamond rings and all those things, bet your life it isn't her. But could she love? Could she woo? Could she, could she, could she woo? <laughs> Has anybody seen my girl? So if you run into a five foot two that's awfully nice, just look and see, you'll agree, that's my personal sugar and spice. Or oh, could she love? Could she woo? Could she, could she, could she coo? Has anybody seen her? You know who I mean, sir. Has anybody seen my girl? <laughs> Way down on the levee in old Alabama, there's Grandpa and Granny, Ephraim and Sammy, on a moonlight night. You can find them there while they are waiting. Banjos are syncopating. What's that they're saying? What's that they're saying? While they keep playing, swinging and swaying, it's the good ship, the Robert E. Lee, that's come to carry the cotton away. Watch them shuffling along. See them shuffling along. Go take your best pal, real gal. Go down to the levee. 
asset to the levy and join that shuffling throng. Hear that music and song. It's simply great, mate. Waiting on the levy, waiting for the Robert E. Lee. of Idaho's known for potatoes and Ireland is known for its stew each place is famous for something and heaven is known for you the state of Georgia is known for its peaches and there are peaches on Park Avenue each place is famous for something and heaven is known for you Georgie Jessel is known for his speeches Howard Hughes is renowned for his dough. Georgie Goble is known for that crew cut. And here the show. California is known for its oranges. We got a sponsor in Florida, too. I'm sorry. Each place is famous for something. And heaven is known, heaven knows for you. Second choice? Yeah. Mr. Crosby is known for his crooning. Not to mention his money belt, too. I'm hip. Everyone's famous for something, and heaven is known for you. Mr. Benny is known for his birthdays. To reach the 40th one is taboo. <laughs> Everyone's famous for something, and heaven is known for you. Yasha Heifetz is known for his fiddle. Hedda Hopper is known for her hat. Lola Bridget is known for her acting. Oh, Johnny, you know better than that. <laughs> Mr. Cantor is known for his daughters. Papa's Popeyes are popular, too. <laughs> and Ida was sent down from heaven. And heaven is known, heaven knows for you. <laughs> Good. All night long, my brain keeps going, who, who, was, was, who was that lady I saw you with? Jokes, <laughs> jokes, riddles to explain again, farmer jokes, drummer jokes, these are cold, those are hot, winter jokes, summer jokes, summer jokes, some are not, gags, <laughs> gags. When the program has been done, another program has begun, gagamania starts again, gotta write new parts again, jokes, jokes. Find the subject, start to kid it. Soon you'll find the Groucho did it, Benny did it, Godfrey did it, Burl did it, Lucy, that funny girl did it. Crack, wise, gotta get some stuff that's great. Wise, crack, gotta make it up to date. If you hit on something good, they grab it up in Hollywood. Skelton does it, Lou Costello, Hope does it, funny fellow. Though it's kicked from coast to coast, it will not give up the ghost. Someone finds a novel twist that the other minds have missed. So it's polished up and then the vicious cycle starts again. Groucho does it, Burl does it, Lucy that funny girl does it, gag fun. Kids today are reared on it, jokes, pun. Each one has a beard on it, jokes, puns, quips, gags, wise cracks, laughs, laughs, laughs. They have stolen all my stuff, but from now on I'll be tough. I will copyright these precious jokes and hide them on my shelves. And then by holy smokes, if they want to use my jokes, they'll have to buy the magazines and clip them out themselves. <laughs> Yeah, the minute the boy finishes washing the car, I'll have him drive it right over. Right. All right. Hey, car wash. Car wash. Did, did you call me? Yeah, did you finish washing Miss Hacksmith's car yet? Yes, sir. All right, well, what are you doing in here with that hose? What? I forgot to shut it off. Well, shut it off. Yes, sir. Shut it off! Yes, sir. Oh, why do we have to have him? Not in there. But you told me to water the plant every day? I know. I'm a little stupid. Shut it off! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Now, did you finish washing Miss Hacksmith's car yet? Yes, sir. All right, we'll put in three quarts of oil. You'll drive it over to a house, huh? Yeah, but but I, I can't drive. I can't drive. I can't. You can't drive. You can't do anything. Take this. Yes, sir. We're going to have to hire you for thousands of intelligent men around. Yes, sir. I hope you remember this time to shut the car windows before you washed it. The last customer opened the door, he almost drowned. <laughs> Crazy around here. 
something or other. No, I didn't. Sorry. I'm not mad, Owen. I'm not mad either. Good. Now, can I trust you to watch the station for just two minutes? Yes, sir. I'll deliver that car. Yes, sir. Now, Irwin, if someone comes in, remember. <laughs> Irwin! I did just did. Look, will you just remember this? It's service that counts. Yes, sir. Why did you have to ruin our picnic by bringing him along? I want a frankfurter. Frankfurter, he says. If I give you a frankfurter, you'll be sick. Give him a hard-boiled egg. Maybe he'll shut up. Here, honey, you better come in the back seat with me. Yes, sir. Service is what we sell here. And my radio stopped working. Put in a new fuse. Oh, you can get a fuse any place, but our motto is service. Look, we're in a hurry. I'll have you out of here in two shakes of a lamb stew. I want some lamb stew. <laughs> Shut up. You see, the, the main thing to do is to look under the hood, because unless you look under there, you can't tell what's doing. You must be efficient, you know what I mean? <laughs> Now, uh, go around and see what else we can get. Say, you know, I got a hat just like that. It's yours. I just gave a little push button to get a hat. It's funny, with these new cars, you can't tell what they... They make such funny sounds, too. I'll go over here and give a little push of a button because I may have had the wrong thing before. You see, now I'll get the right thing in the button here. I, I must have pressed the wrong button because we better seem to go up. Don't worry, ladies. The one thing you get here, and say it. Yes, Nina. And you see, it'll it'll be all right. Here, lady. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. Wrong end. <laughs> Just as good as new. Oh my goodness. Will you hurry up and get the fuse? Yes, sir. But first, I've got to check your order. Okay. Oh. All right. Where are you going? I've got to wash up. You gotta wash up nothing. We haven't got time. You don't have to wash. She looks uh, pretty dirty to me, sir. <laughs> I think you should change her. <laughs> Never mind that. Just give me a fuse and let me get out of here. Yeah, but first I want to wash your windows. It's very important to have your windows washed. Statistics show that more accidents happen through dirty windows than they do through faulty seat covers. <laughs> you can look it up. National Safety Count on the second page of the big picture there. Of the whole... 25 minutes I've been here, and I can't get one little... Oh! <laughs> of course, mister, you want your fuse, but I want to tell you something. I'm going to give you such service here. You'd be surprised. You think that this, because this is a small station, you don't get any big service? Help! Don't move, I'll help you. I told Mother these knitted ties never hold their shape. But you know, Mother, they say, get it plenty big, you'll grow into it. When am I going to get my fuse? Uh, uh what fuse? What, what fuse? The fuse for my radio! Yes, I'll, I'll get it right away. Right away. Everybody hollers. Bet you haven't checked your rear tires for months and months and months. I got the tires! <laughs> trying to do is to help people, give them a little service. I don't know why they should be aggravated. Don't open my truck! I was just trying to check the rear tires. <laughs> my, my, you have a roomy trunk and one leg? I, this has... Look what you've done. Don't worry, lady. I'll have it put back all before you can see. Before you even start the car, I'll have the whole thing back with here. What happened to the rest of it? This I don't understand. Well, well, I'm glad you're back. Oh. Oh, this attendant is driving me crazy. Here. I know what you I mean. Piece of cake. You want a piece of cake. You had enough. You're driving me crazy. I don't have any cake, but I've got this lovely pie. Cut him a piece of pie, dear. Give me the pie. I got a knife. I'll cut it for him. Hey, you are. As good as new. To get excited. Why should people get excited when the thing is just as good as new? I'll have you out here in a hurry, but first I want to wash all the windows. <laughs> See, one thing about these 
modern cars, you push one button and goes up the window, you push the other button and the window goes down, then you... Well, mister, if you're in such a hurry, why do you start shaving now? <laughs> he pushed up the window and put the pie in his face. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll wipe it off, mister. I'm sorry. I did that thing. Put I'm... that down. Yeah. Get away from me. Yeah, just as soon as I wipe off the windshield. I'll get, get away, away from, from me. Don't worry about it, mister. Let me wipe off the windshield. Look. Look what you're doing to my windshield! Oh, wait, wait a minute. I'll just press the windshield wiper and I'll get the whole thing off. Wait a minute. Don't worry about get it. Get out of there! I'll do it myself. Just get me a fuse and get me out of here! You fuse, don't worry, mister. I'll get you. Press the button and take care. That's it. No, no, you're, you're pressing the wrong button, mister. I'm sorry. You know your own car when well, it's up to you. Just get me a fuse. I'll get it. I'll, I'll get it, mister. I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh. Now's my chance. I'm going to get out of here. You can't go with a dirty windshield like that. You can't see where you're going. I don't care where I'm going as long as I get out of here. These new cars have a fast getaway. <laughs> hey, what are you doing up there in that oil rack? Never mind that. Come up here and get us down. Sorry, that's not my department. <laughs> Very strong union, you know. <laughs> Yes. The Maguire sisters? You're getting warm. <laughs> well, of course. The, the Three, three Stooges. Stooges. What are you doing in my files? We want to be discovered. But you've already been discovered. I told you he was discovered. Yeah, under a rock. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Get out of here. Get out. Come on. Get out. Out. Here, come on. Wait a minute. What are you beeping about? He's discovered. Wait, wait, wait. Will you calm down, Stooges? Eddie, call us by our first name, will you? What is that? Three. Oh. <laughs> what are you trying to do, make a friend out of him? Right away, we won't get paid. You mean he wants us to work for nothing? Who said for nothing? <laughs> hey there. What did you hit him for? He didn't do anything. Well, he was gonna. L listen, Stooges, I can use you in the show, but I have no sketch for you. Well, that's all right. We brought our own material. This is the... It looks like a telephone book. Yeah, we do jokes and then we do numbers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have it. Oh, no, you don't. You're just trying to steal our numbers. Wait a minute. We'll do better than that. We'll show you the bit. Right now. Oh, right, 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 right. Wait a minute. Yeah, what are you doing with my chair? Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry. worry. This is the way we start the bit. Yeah. My ceiling. What are you doing to my ceiling? That's all right. We're working our way into the sketch. Here's the introduction. All you have to do is go out there and... That's all right. Larry. Okay, Larry. Cut away up there. The Three Stooges in a Night at the U.S. Mint? six months digging the tunnel, then we make a wrong turn. This ain't the First National Bank. Well, if it ain't the First National Bank, where is it where we can be? A lousy warehouse, that's what it is. Serves us right. Louie warned us. He told us we didn't have the intellectual capacity to pull off this job. Yeah, and he said we were too dumb, too. Yeah, but... Hey, maybe we can change our plans. What are they keeping this warehouse? What's all that green stuff over there? Who cares? We're only interested in money. And you, you're the guy I could see in the dark. You, eating carrots all day long. Yeah, we had to follow you. Hey, wait a minute. I know what we did. Let me see. You know what we did? We turned to the left instead of the right. 
You bubble brain, you don't know your right from your left. Sure I do. All right, I'll prove it to you. When I say go, we'll both point to the right. Go! <laughs> Look, I'll explain it to you so even you can understand it. Go! Please fight. Come here. This mop head don't know his right from his left. Now, when I say go, we'll all point to the right. Go! <laughs> Come oh. on, get it. Maybe we can go back this way. Look, well, fellas. Shut up. The sewer comes Hey, down. fellas. Will you get out of here? <laughs> what, Butch? Butch, I think I found the greatest counterfeiter in the world. Beat it. <laughs> it's about 40 yards over here to this manhole cover. We don't have to take the 6th Avenue sewer. We can take the Park Avenue sewer. I want to take the Park Avenue sewer for once. Park Avenue sewer? What for? We just turned left at the 17th Street sewer and we're under the bank. Let me see that. Spike. Now what's the matter? Look. What? she's right. Look. Hey, I'm glad we brought him along. He can read. Ho, oh, oh. ho. The sign says no smoke and we quit smoking. We don't want to start no fires. That's not our racket. Mint. Mint. Mint! Here's a mint and get out of here. Get her mint? No, let's get on with this. Now, here, when we come up out of that sewer, we gotta bust through this wall here. Hey, Bush, look! Look! Now, you look, you little squirt. You got us into this dump. Now, quit the stipend us so we can find a way to get out of it. One word out of you, and I'll pull this trigger. But I'm only trying. I thought I told you I didn't want to hear another peep out of you. That's better. Now, I don't know about that 17th Street sewer. What's the matter with it? Well, it's a little out of our class. <laughs> now what's the matter with him? Hey, he wants to do charades. It's a song type. Four words. First word. Us. We. We're. 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 Second word. A small one. Of, at, the, in. We're in. Third word. Another small word. At, the, in. Oh, the. We're in the. Yeah, let's see a song title. We're in the. We're in. We're in the what? I got it. A song title. Stardust. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth word. Sounds like. <laughs> Rabbit. Hair. We're in the hair. <laughs> He's nuts. Money. We're in the money. Hey, you're cheating. You're not allowed to use props. <laughs> Come on, we wasted enough time around here. Let's go. Let's go to the First National Bank. All right, come on, Lefty. But this time, remember, a guy with brains is going to lead the way. Oh, fine. I get it. Come oh, on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Get on. All right, go ahead. Bush, before you go, Shut wait. up! All right, put up your hands. You're under arrest. Come on, get down. You too. Very funny, fellas. Very funny. I'm going to use that one of my future shows. I mean it. Gee, thanks, Eddie. And when you do, we'll work for nothing. Really? Yeah, but we want to do it in a different set. What kind of a set? We want to do it in a real mint. <laughs> Pick up your props and get out of here. Go ahead. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. She belongs here. I told you we should have gone on a Jackie Gleason show. He's got a million of them. <laughs>
I know I did. I did. But remember, you're forgetting. What about this? They heard the breeze from the trees singing weird melodies and they made that the start of the blues and from a jail came the wail of a downhearted frail and they played that as part of the blues from a whippoorwill out on a hill, they took a new note, pushed it through a horn till it was worn into a blue note. And then they nursed it, rehearsed it, and gave out the news that the Southland gave birth to the blues. From a whippoorwill high on a hill, they took a new note, pushed it through a horn till it was worn into a blue note. And then they nursed it, rehearsed it, and they gave out the news that the Southland gave birth to the blue. The Southland gave birth to the blues. Well, tell me, what about that? <laughs> you talked me out of that one, too. Yes, I did. But at least you'll admit I'm consistent. You're more than that. You're fired. You're washed up. Through. Get out. Listen, stop hinting. What is our situation? You're fired. You and your sweet Henrietta Murphy. What do you want me to do, throw you out? Say, I actually believe you mean it. Mr. Bilge, would you throw me out, me with a wife, and all my dependents? Dependents? What dependents have you got? The Flamingo, the Desert Inn, the Sahara, the Riviera, the Thunderbolt. Those are gambling casinos in Las Vegas. Yeah, but who do you think has been supporting them? <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't have put them down on my income tax, huh? Out. Out. All right, listen. Stop beating about the bush. You say you want a song hit, I'll get you the biggest song hit you've had in 20 years. I'll get you a song that'll be number one on the hit parade, or you don't have to give me my two-week severance pay. You'll find me a song hit. Yes, sir. Uh, where are you going to find me a hit? Why, Mr. Bilge, I run the songwriters every day. They give me titles that are sensational. Look at this. Here's one. I'm glad I made you cry. Your face looks cleaner now. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a hillbilly song. Get off that hot stove, Grandpa. You're too old to ride the range. <laughs> must be out of your mind. No recording firm would buy that kind of a song. Who knows what the public wants? Say, maybe a thing like this. They sat on the porch at midnight. He gently stole a kiss. He said, I've sipped from many a cup, but never from a mug like this. <laughs> well, you've got 48 hours to find me a hit. Now get out of here. OK, I'll go. Say, wait a minute. I might have it right here. I forgot about this title. I turned on my electric blanket too high, and now I'm the toast of the town. Get out! Get out. All right. If anybody wants me, honey, I'll be in the park thinking. Elmo, yeah? I heard the whole conversation. Now, how do you expect to find a hit song in the park? Well, I'll get myself a nightingale, team him up with a parrot, make him join the union. First thing you know, I'll have a hit song. <laughs>
I'm a songwriter. I wrote a song. If somebody doesn't publish my song, I am going to jump off that bridge. Well, it's been nice chatting with you. <laughs> Where can I find a song? Where can I find a song? Hey, you! Stop! No, no, hey, stop! Wait a minute, young lady, come down from there. Come down, come down! Come, come here, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. What's the matter with you? What is the matter with you? Don't you know that you have everything to live for? No, I haven't. Nobody wants to look at my song. Of course they want to look at your song. Everybody wants to look at your song. Your song? I couldn't even get in to see a publisher. Why, this is fate. Do you know who I am? I'm Elmo Dilling, the world's greatest song plugger. Just a few moments ago, I was sitting on that bench saying to myself, where can I find a song? Where can I find a song? And there you are. Oh, my dear. What is your name? Hoagie Berlin. Hoagie Berlin? Oh, boy, you weren't taking any chances, were you? What's wrong with Gershwin? Oh, that's my middle name. Hoagie Gershwin Berlin. Words and music by Hoagie Gershwin Berlin and by some strange fortune placed into the hands of Elmo Dilling. You really think my, my song can be a hit? A hit? Oh, my dear. Will this song be a hit? If this song isn't a hit, your name isn't Hoagie Berlin. To be truthful, it isn't. It's just a pen name. My real name is Rogers Hammerstein. <laughs> honey! Honey! I found it! I found it! Well, you certainly have, but what is it? Yep, uh, ex excuse me. This is my wife. Darling, you don't understand. This is the greatest songwriter in the world. Her name is Miss, uh, Miss, uh, oh, you'd, you'd never believe it. You're right. I'm looking at it, and I still don't believe it. Hello, boss. Boss, this is Elmo. I found me the greatest piece of songwriting talent since Francis Scott got the key. Oh, are you a songwriter? I hate to trouble you, but it's time for my hominy grit. Hominy grit? I tell you, boss, it was fate. Fate. F-A-T. And this song is going to be the greatest hit of the 20th century. All right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll stake my reputation. Or you want something a little bit better? I'll stake my job on it. I've already staked my job on it. Look, boss, I'm not worried. This is going to be the biggest thing in the jukeboxes. It'll be number one in the hit parade. I'll make up for Stardust and Davy Crockett. <laughs> Every time you mention Davy Crockett, I don't know. Well, what is it, a ballad or a jump tune? What's what? 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 The song. How should I know? Elmo, you mean you've committed yourself to your boss on something you haven't even heard? Who is to question it? I was sitting there in the park, and it was written in the stars, in the stars. I'll sing your song. Will you sit down and play your masterpiece, Hoagie? Her name is Hoagie? Well, you see, her name is, uh, 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 never mind. Will you play it, dear? <laughs> Snuffle, snuffle, ha choo, snuffle, snuffle, ha choo, snuffle, snuffle, cause I'm blue. Ha choo, snuffle, snuffle, ha choo, snuffle, snuffle, ha choo, snuffle, snuffle, just for two. Snip, snap, snip, 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 snap, 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 snip, snap, pop, 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 ha choo, snuffle, snuffle, ha choo, snuffle, snuffle, ha choo, snuffle, snuffle. In a stew. Cause I'm getting so allergic over you. How do you like my song? Gesundheit means I love you. Gesundheit means I love you? Wait a minute! Didn't I tell my boss I'm gonna make your song the biggest thing in the jukeboxes? 
I'm going to make it number one on the hit parade? Yes. Then I'm the one to jump. Elmo! Get down from there and stop fooling around. Do you want to hurt yourself? Yes. <laughs> you don't like that stuff. Yes, I do. Don't cry. You don't understand. It makes me sad. It brings back memories. It reminds me of the first automobile I had. A Model T Ford with a blown head gasket. <laughs> and it made a sound just like your song. Oh. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. I'm going to call up the boss and tell him the whole thing was a big mistake. He's not going to... Hello? Oh, boss. Yeah, I was just going to call you. Because... But yeah... Huh? Helen O'Connell. Now, boss, I... You, she, it... Yeah. <laughs> yes, boss. My boss wants me to go and meet Helen O'Connell. She's at the recording studio. And he wants me to show her this song. I can't do it. Oh, yes, you can. Helen's sweet and understanding. Well, nothing upsets her. Well, that's why I don't want to do it. You see, if anything, this song is nothing. And Gesundheit means I love you. Hachu, snuffle, snuffle. Hachu, snuffle, snuffle. Hachu, snuffle, snuffle. Yes, I love you. It's on the earth paper moon Sailing over a cardboard sea But it wouldn't be made believe If you believed in me Yes, it's on the earth canvas sky Hanging over a muslin tree But it wouldn't be make believe If you believed in me Without your love, it's a honky-tonk parade. Without your love, it's a melody played in a penny arcade. It's a Barnum and Bailey world, just as phony as it can be. But it wouldn't be make-believe if you believed in me. Without your love, it's a honky-tonk parade. Without your love, it's a melody played in a penny arcade. It's a Barnum and Bailey world, just as phony as it can be. But it wouldn't be make-believe if you believed in me. That was a real fine take, Helen. Oh, thank you, Ray. Should we take a break? Sure. Okay. Take five, boys. Hello, Ray Anthony. Hello, Elmo. Say, I understand you're doing a recording session today with Helen O'Connell. That's right. We just broke for a break. Oh, good. Uh, do you mind if I wait around for a few minutes? Fine. Thank you. Excuse me, what, uh, what are you doing? Just uh, going through the score and listening to the orchestra. You are listening to the orchestra? When a conductor reads music, he can hear the whole orchestra playing in his head. In his head, you hear the music? You know, for a minute, I didn't think it was possible. Why, what's the matter? Ray, this business about hearing music in your head, would you mind doing me a favor? Well, what is it? A friend of mine gave me this song. He'd like to have an opinion. I wonder if you'd mind playing it over and telling me how it sounds in your head, huh? Sure, I'd be glad to. What's the matter? Did I break up your orchestra? I'm a little sick.
How do you like that? Now he's going out to have his head retuned. Gosh. I can't show this to Helen O'Connell. She's a nice girl. She never hurt me. Why should I... Uh, hey, wait a minute. I can record this on tape. Then I don't have to face her. Mm, am I clever? I'm working too cheap. <laughs> Imagine they have engineers for this. My wife's brother's been out of work 13 years. Well, all right. Well, there it is, all recorded. Oh, I can't do this to Helen O'Connell. She's so nice. Oh, no. Anthony said you wanted to see me. Why, I didn't think you'd remember me. Oh, Elmo, now who could forget the man who tried to make the world safe for sweet Henrietta Murphy? You know, Helen, I did want to see you about... about... about a half an hour ago, but I, I changed my mind. Oh, wait, don't be shy. What is it? That's what I've been trying to find out myself. But don't you have a song for me? Mr. Bilge told me to expect you. Well, yes, well, to tell you the truth, uh -huh. to tell you the truth, to tell you the truth, I'd like to kill myself. So, look, I've got it all recorded here. It's right on here. Wonderful. I'll play it right away. Oh, no, no. Look, before you play the song, I'd like to tell you how the whole thing started. You see, right. I was walking in the park, and then a woman... Oh, Helen, oh. you've got to tell Elmo what happened to you in the park last week. Oh, no, Ray. That wasn't funny. Sure it was. Tell him. Well, you see, I was walking in the park when a strange woman suddenly climbed up on the bridge and was going to jump. And what do you think she turned out to be? A songwriter. <laughs> what a song. Ooh. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, don't cry, Elma. She didn't jump. That's why I'm crying. <laughs> so I got away before she could play the tape. But she told me she'd call me up later and tell me what she thinks about the song. What's your problem? I imagine it's too late to disconnect the phone. Oh, what I went through. If, I tell you, if I had my life to live over again, I wouldn't be born. I'm so knocked out. I... Oh, honey, why don't you take a nap? Take a nap? I can't sleep. I'm too nervous. You know how I twist and turn and twist and turn and... Gotta get a hit. Gotta get a hit. Gotta plug a song. Gotta plug a song. Elmo, Elmo, wake up. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> Mr. Bilge wants to talk to you. Mr. Bilt, then you put the receiver back on the hook. Uh, no, she didn't. Oh, boss, you don't know what's been happening. People have been calling and calling and calling like mad. Uh, about the song? I don't know. You see, the receiver's been off the hook. Uh, <laughs> Elmo, did you give Helen O'Connell the song? Well, of course I did. Well, when you played it for her, did she seem to go for it? Go for it. Man, she was gone. Uh, what do you mean, gone? I mean, real gone. She wasn't even there. So I left her a tape recording of the song. Well, haven't you heard from her? Oh, you don't hear from a big star like that. After all, they got recordings, they got interviews, they got personal appearance. You won't hear from her for weeks and weeks and weeks. <laughs> Come in. Elmo, Elmo, I've been trying to get you on the phone and your line's been busy. I want to tell you about the song. That's no attitude to take. Some songs fit certain singers, other songs don't fit certain singers. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean that it's no good. But I like it. I think it's great. That's exactly what I mean. People make snap judgment. They have no... You like the song? I think it's great. Honey, there's a double window in the next room. Let's both jump. <laughs> Goodbye, all. Stop stalling, Elmo. You're just trying to hold me up for more money. Now sit down at the piano and play it. But, boss, I couldn't do it just... Sit down and play it. But, boss, the way I play, nothing sounds good. Oh! Oh! Oh, my finger! Look at it, my finger! Oh! Play it with your right hand. I can't. It's a left-handed song. Listen, Ray Anthony is so crazy about this, he made a record of it this afternoon. He changed the tempo just a little bit, slowed it down just slightly, but it's wonderful. Well, fine, fine. Let's listen to it. <laughs> 
boss, you can't play it. You see, this thing won't work. It's broken. But don't worry about it, because I can, I can fix the thing. I know all about the mechanics. Nothing wrong with uh, this phonograph. Just disconnected, that's well, all. Well, what do you know? Just disconnected. You see, we, uh, we happen to have a part-time maid, you see. And every time, every time she uses the vacuum, she always fools around with this thing. Oh! Oh! The record fell down. It probably broke it a million pieces. I'll tell you what you do, boss. You come back in about two weeks. My hand will be all right, and I'll play the whole I thing. know what you're trying to do. Yes. You've got this song with all the other publishers in town, <laughs> and you're holding out for the no, best no. offer. Uh, Honestly, uh, please uh, believe me, boss. If anybody should knock at the door right now, come in. <laughs> the woman from the park. I, I was downstairs watching your window, hoping you'd call, and I saw this record fall out. Oh. And it didn't break? No, it's unbreakable. Oh, that's ridiculous. But hey. Hey. Don't give me that. I'm going to hear this song if it's the last thing I do. And it may very well be. You know, at your age, I wouldn't be taking any chances. <laughs> Believe me. Wait a minute, that's the wrong song. That's the song you left on the tape. Is this your song? Yes, that's it. That's the way it sounds when you play it backwards. Backwards? Yes, backwards, and they slow down tempo. Well, if this isn't a crazy business, what you've got to do to get a hit? You've got to have a song turn on you. Push now, it's better the other way. You would, my boy. This is wonderful. Sensational. With a set of lyrics that will top any song we ever had. Yeah. Now, who can we get to write the lyrics? I know. Uh, who? Me. You? Oh, that's the daffiest thing I ever heard in my whole wait, life. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Be quiet. If, if she wrote the music, she can write the lyrics. Look, look. She's thinking. I've got it. Yeah, yeah, yes. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Ah, two, snuffle, snuffle. Ah, two, snuffle, snuffle. Ah, two, snuffle, snuffle. Get me the police. Ah, two. I want a man with a straitjacket. It's about a song. Miss Unright means I love you. Oh, he'll know it. He'll know it when he sees it. Helen, you're very cute. Is there something you'd like to say to the audience before you leave? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, there is, Eddie. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Ah, choo, snuffle, snuffle. Ah, snuffle, snuffle. By the way, the eccentric songwriter was played by Ann Davis and the music publisher by my old Zigfield Follies friend, Andy Toombs. <laughs>